How's it going everyone? I hope you had a great Halloween. Today we are still on Halloween day, so I'm very happy to say, just like I promised you guys, we're playing a zombie AR game with occlusion on the Oculus Quest 2. You guys know occlusion is something very important when it comes to AR. And now that we have confirmation that the Quest 2 is going to be with us for a very long time after Facebook Connect, Meta Connect, whatever you want to call it, well, developers have been working hard in order to get occlusion into that pass through API. How they're doing it? Well, that's exactly what we're going to find out today. And just before we begin the video, I just want to say we're almost at 98,000 subscribers, which is absolutely unbelievable. So if you guys want to join us on the road to 100k and enjoy these videos, just slap that little red button down below and let's get straight into the video. Yesterday we were live streaming and we had a lot of things planned. Not everything went according to plan, including the VR chat portal to the real world, but hey, at least we tried. But one thing I did promise you guys during Halloween was that we were going to play a game on the Oculus Quest 2 using its AR mode that spawns zombies around your house using occlusion. One very similar to the one I showed you guys a little while back. And a lot of you absolutely loved that idea. As you may know, I'm a huge fan of the new Pass Through API on the Oculus Quest 2. I think it gives a lot of possibilities to things we could be having in the future. And even if it's just in black and white, it gives developers a nice opportunity to begin and start developing for this platform. That way, even if the AR becomes colorful in the future, hopefully those apps can just be straight up ported to it. It's so, so cool how much you you can do with it. And with occlusion, it's that little bit better. I feel like today is the perfect day to test this out. You know, it's Halloween. So without any further ado, let's get on to itch.io, buy the game, sideload it to the quest, turn on the new pass through API, and get to trying it out. So you know, since this is an itch.io game, you're going to need to sideload it. So in case you're following along, click on the link in the description, buy the game, and you'll get the APK file. Fire up SideQuest or ADB, depending on which one you prefer to use, and sideload it just like you normally would. Later on, turn on the pass through API, either by using the ADB command or by just using the SideQuest options, and you're ready to go. Go to your unknown sources on your Quest 2 and fire up the game. So overall, the way this game does it is pretty simple. In fact, the instructions show up right when you launch the game. First of all, you need to map out your house. The game doesn't have access to this data from the quest, so you're going to need to tell it where all the walls are. This is pretty simple, just do it by pressing the trigger on the right controller, by placing a dot in every corner of the walls or of the doors. Once you're done that, click the trigger on the left controller to make sure everything is working correctly. Then, press A and you're ready to go. That actually scared me to all hell, like I could not continue. The first time I did this, I did it incorrectly because I mapped out quite literally every object, forgetting that this doesn't map height, it only maps walls. So if you do decide to try this out, don't map your bed or anything like that, just map out the things that you know are hitting the ceiling or else, well, the game sees everything you map out as a wall and you don't necessarily want a wall to be where your bed is. So that's the first mistake I made. But anyway, I went back and I corrected that. Also, you don't need to be crawling on the ground to map out the walls. You can map them out at your height and it works perfectly fine. Look at that. That's pretty decent, I would say. Okay, let's start it. <laughs> Holy crap. <sighs> it's like an instant attack. 30. Lovely. Uh, I'm going to assume that says press 8 to this guy. This guy. No. Get away from me. <laughs> Get away from me. It is important to note that this game is kind of still in its development phase. So pressing the trigger while you're playing the game will keep adding walls for some reason. I don't know, that's just how it worked for me, but that could be kind of annoying because then you're adding occlusion during the game. So, you know, hopefully in the future, it does get all that fixed. Also, the sound of the game was incredibly, incredibly high. <laughs> which means unfortunately my mic recording, well, was incredibly overpowered by the game, even if I turned off the volume on the headset. So we have very little to no audio of me screaming and getting scared, but you can see me hiding in the corners, which is really, really funny. <laughs> yeah, that went very well. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that, no, that's a... Uh... That's a big no-no right there. I seriously need to get a better way of recording audio on the Quest 2. Either way, this is definitely the coolest thing I have played on the Quest 2 
in quite some time. I mean, you guys know I love AR. I love the concept of AR, and I love the fact that developers, again, can start developing for it on the Quest. Games like this are what makes it possible, and seeing developers work out of the box to add occlusion and stuff like that is absolutely amazing. I could see developers working with this kind of wall mechanic and allowing us to add occlusion to height, you know, allowing us to maybe put building blocks and kind of expand them and map out our house and kind of save that map, you know, because a lot of people, well, you won't be remodeling your house every day, so you could possibly save that map and have it for a future game, kind of transfer it between games. That could be really cool. Turning off your guardian doesn't break the occlusion whatsoever, still works, still maps it out perfectly and saves it and kind of anchors it to the spot, so that's really cool. I know a lot of things tend to stop working when you turn off the guardian. Looks like that's been solved. And overall, just that feeling of not knowing what is behind your corner, what is behind your own wall is terrifying. You know, you see your house through the pass-through mode, so it's something familiar to your brain, and yet it is so unfamiliar because anything could be behind that corner. Plus, that added benefit of actually being able to walk around. You know, in VR, we're used to moving around with joystick or teleportation, or if you have an omnidirectional treadmill, I guess you can use that. But there's just something incredibly special about actually being able to walk around a physical space and that space matching exactly what's inside the headset. It's just really cool. Well, playing VR is epic. This is something else. This is not necessarily VR. This is not VR. This is merging the real world with virtual reality. This is something that would be really cool for parties, if you ask me. If I could somehow use AR mode in VR chat or somehow use AR mode in, say, Rec Room and have people spawn around me inside my own house and just party with them, that would be really cool. In fact, I would love that, to be honest. If someone can make that happen, please do, because I'm not intelligent enough to make that happen. But yesterday, for example, we were having the Halloween party. How cool would it be if you could have, say, a 3D map of your house? I could do that. Photogrammetry is a thing. And have people spawn around us inside our kitchen while we were cooking, and we could see them in the VR headset, you know, in that AR pass through API mode. That would be so cool, just so amazing. I, I really hope we get to that point. This is amazing. And while I don't normally play horror games, just going back to the game for a little bit, I did love this. At first I was cowering, at first I was hiding, I was hiding in the corner, running away, trying to get away from them. After a while, I, I did kind of get used to it. I mean, me and horror games, we don't really go well together. But look, I promised you guys I was going to play this for Halloween, and I had to keep my promise. So I bet you guys are going to have a lot of fun. Too bad we didn't have a camera. You know, I think I need to start putting hidden cameras all around my house to get my reactions when I'm playing stuff like this. Something in third person, you know? I need to get all of that sorted, but possibly when we get a studio, that will be much, much easier. You know, my parents don't necessarily want hidden cameras all around the house. But it it is so hilarious what was happening during that game. In fact, my mom at one point was standing downstairs and she was like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. So, you know, I got her to come up and try. Unfortunately, we got no audio for that one because, you know, why, why would we want audio for that one? You know, right, Quest? <laughs> it was so cool. It was absolutely cool. And it, it is just an experience for now. It's not a fully fledged game. These zombies are just gonna start appearing behind walls and stuff and coming at you. But I see the possibilities of this. You know, now that you have occlusion, you can hide chests inside rooms, open up the chests, maybe get a better weapon. You can start forming levels and kind of upgrades inside your own house. There's definitely a random spawn mechanic that you could have that would have these chests spawn in the most random of places. And if you have a larger house than me, this could be one of the coolest experiences ever. I see the huge potential that this is holding and I absolutely love this. It is exactly what I hoped it would be and so much more. And again, this is just the beginning and it is already so good. I love this. In case you guys want to try this out, I am of course going to put the itch.io link down in the description below. You can go support the developer and try out the game and let me know what you think about it down below. Let me know what potential you see for this in the future. But yeah, that is going to be it for today's video, guys. I don't normally do gameplay videos, but again, this was a promised one, and it was one of the coolest experiences I ever had on the Quest 2. This definitely is up there, as well as the night vision experience and the third person experience, simply because this is just another level, and that's exactly what I'm hoping for. And now that we know the Oculus Quest 2 is gonna keep getting upgrades, keep getting developed for, keep getting just overall improved, because there is no new headset coming out right now, this is going to keep continuing. 
And I love this. I absolutely love this. Again, please let me know what you think about all of this down below. What do you think this could all lead up to? And what would you use the AR mode for? Other than that, that is going to be all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys liked it, please leave a like. If you guys disliked it, I guess this button works too, but please tell me why down in the comments section below. If you guys want to join us on the road to 100K, make sure to smack that little subscribe button down below. We are just so unbelievably close. Originally, I thought that it would happen sometime January, late December, but now it's just, it's so blowing up it's so surreal yesterday we had like an emotional heartfelt moment during the live stream nicola stopped me she didn't want uh she didn't want any emotional heartfelt moments on the live stream so that was a thing but but chat knew thank you chat <laughs> But yeah, thank you so much to all the Patreons supporting this channel. You guys help me continue making content like this, paying my bills, and just overall buying better gear. So thank you. I greatly appreciate that. If you guys would like to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, we've got sick mugs down below that boost your FPS by 300% and merch that does not put a huge ad on your body. If you guys are not yet part of our community, we have a Discord down below in the description. Make sure to join that. And we also have a Reddit where I want to see you posting your spice memes. And of course, if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel daily, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.